Hi, I was asked, what event caused you to experience a spiritual awakening? I understand that people you know, want to know the one event that caused an awakening so that they can pursue the one thing too. The truth is that there are many things leading up to self-realization, which is the highest. There are many little awakenings people have along the way. And until your identity is fundamentally and <laughs> shockingly hit, you're not done. Your work's not done. So there are many things leading up and they all need to be present. Like a garden needs many conditions in order for plants to grow. And if just one of those is missing, it won't happen. So there are seven factors to awakening in the Buddhist view. And these factors are all the opposite of the usual things, the usual ways that people are. And this includes mindfulness. <laughs> to maintain awareness of reality, in particular, uh, for the teachings. What is reality? You have to discern that. You have to discover what that is. And it is not the mind, the imaginary mind. The second is investigation. Investigation into the nature of reality. So there's this constant discerning into what is real and what is not. Energy. There must be energy, determination, effort. You can't just, you know, want the red pill. <laughs> there will be joy or rapture that can be growing and growing as far as bliss and love. There's relaxation or tranquility, or, or tranquility at the same time. And that sounds odd, but this is a relaxation of both, both body and mind because you're not dreaming the stressful mind. And even though there is energy, there is relaxation. There is energy for inquiry and there is physical relaxation or tranquility. Then there's concentration and that's a calm, single-minded, one-pointed view where you are paying attention to one thing, the reality, not the mind, and it's many things. And there's equanimity and that is to be without craving or aversion. I became so full of love and joy. I didn't want anything from the world and I didn't try to prevent anything from the world because these things you want and want to prevent from the world are really just the mind, not the world. So as you might see again, these factors are the opposite of the usual things, the usual ways in which people are operating and functioning in the world. If you are streaming, dreaming the mind, having confused the mind for reality and for your own identity, you treasure your sense of your separate self. And this is what keeps you appearing separate. This is what it keeps everything appearing separate from you and from everything else. So ultimately in the end, this separate person must be given up. In bliss, I fell in love with love itself and never left it again. Because in the end, I surrendered myself to it. With inquiry, I saw what I truly am and what it is, which is what I am. And that was the end of duality, of me, not me, of self and other. I saw for the first time with this body-mind, everything is the self that I've always known. Hope that helps.